Okay, next step we're going to go ahead and uh, unpack and set up the battery. Once you order the, open the battery compartment, you're going to see there's an acid pack here. You have the battery and also the hardware kit. Okay, we want to remove this foil strip on top of the battery here. Just peels right off. And we're going to open up the uh, acid container. We want to hang on to this black metal or black plastic strip. You'll see that the uh, acid pack has foil caps on top of it. What we're going to do is um, we're going to line that up with the holes here in the battery and uh, it'll puncture them when we push it down. So we're going to go ahead and place that on top of the battery and then just kind of give it a, a firm pat to uh, break the seal and push the acid container into the battery. Okay, we've gone ahead and put that in there. So now we're going to let the battery uh, absorb all the acid. It's going to take a few minutes for it to uh, drain into the uh, cells. Okay, now that we've filled up the battery with the acid, we've allowed it to sit for about 20 minutes. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put the protective cap over it. So I just line that up there. And uh, with a hammer, just give it a tap so it seals it properly. Okay, we've, re we've gone ahead and sealed the battery up now. Now we need to charge it. Uh, when you charge the battery, you need to charge it at a rate of no more than two amps, which means that uh, most car type chargers uh, will not work. You need a low amp setting, two amp or trickle charge setting to charge the battery. If you charge it at two amps, you wanna charge it about uh, two hours. Okay, we're getting ready now to install the battery into the battery tray. Uh, you'll receive, you receive the uh, hardware pack for the battery. It has two bolts and two nuts. The nuts are rectangular. They slide into the battery terminal here. And you have a few wires hanging here. Uh, there's three total that connect to the battery. The green one is your ground, which goes to the negative or the minus terminal on the battery. These two wires are the positive wires. These go to the plus or positive terminals on the battery. These connect together, the bolt goes through there, connects to the battery terminal. We're going to go ahead and install our battery here. Make sure that the nuts don't fall out of place. Uh, what we need to do is feed this fused link through the uh, rubber grommet here. Uh, you may need to grease it up a little bit to feed it through. It makes it a little bit easier uh, if you just put a dab of grease inside this rubber grommet. It'll help it slide through. And what you want to do is just feed the terminal through the rubber here. And then wipe off whatever grease residue is remaining there. Okay, now we could go ahead and connect the positive side of the battery.
Okay, with the positive terminal in place here, we're gonna go ahead and attach the ground wire. Before you do that, you wanna make sure that the ignition is in the off position. Again, make sure the connection is nice and snug. And slide the protective cap over that as well. We're gonna go ahead and put the battery strap in to secure the battery. You just latch it around the front here. And you'll need to stretch it over to this terminal back here where it hooks onto. Okay, we now have the battery installed. 